Hi everyone, and welcome to part two of my 100 heads challenge video. In this video, I'm going to mostly talk about a comparison between two types of color LEDs that I wanted to try. And I've already tried sketching with my Prismacolor Coal Erase Pencils, which are erasable colored pencils, and I enjoy that very much. However, they do not erase very well. They do, but to a certain extent. If you apply too many layers or if you push too hard on your pencils, then it's very hard to erase. And I found out recently about color LEDs, and I've been wanting to try. And supposedly some of them erase really well. And as I was researching them on YouTube, uh, there's always the comparison between one type and the color erase but um, not between each other or those that I was uh, interested in. So I decided to make a versus video for you guys. So I started my test with the very first pack that I received and that one I was able to only find it on jet pens and I decided to buy the leads with the um, mechanical pencils because I thought it was much easier to have the color-coded mechanical pencils and not have to remove the leads and put them in other mechanical pencils all the time because I think they're pretty fragile to start with and I didn't want to break them. So the very first set is the Uni Nanodia and it's by Mitsubishi Pencil Co. and it has seven colors. The Nanodia is nano diamond technology. It's supposed to be a harder lead that's not easily broken and I must say it was pretty hard even though the application on the paper is pretty soft. The only thing that I found is that it's inconsistent uh, depending on the colors and especially the red one felt almost scratchy. It was really hard but it applied very smoothly on the paper. Uh, so that was okay. They also work very very well on black paper. The colors stand out very well because they're pretty opaque I guess. And the thing that I really enjoy is that when you sketch with them, if you use a alcohol based marker on top of it, it kind of melts underneath. So if you want to do your sketch with those LEDs and then apply some uh, uh, alcohol markers on top of it, you will most likely not see your lines underneath, which is pretty cool. So for my test, I wanted to use a double page and try on the left page to use only the Uni Nanodia LEDs and on the right page I used the other LEDs and I tried to use the same colors so that I could compare them. And I took the opportunity of my 100 heads challenge to test those two. I must say even though the LED of the red is a little bit scratchier or a little bit harder than the other colors, it felt very very nice and it was very smooth on the paper. One thing that I really liked and I was very surprised is even though it's color, um, when I used a paper stump, it blended very very nicely, very smoothly. So I was able to work the shadows really easily. Um, so when I was done sketching my original little sketch, I would blend the shadows and then use an eraser or even a kneaded eraser. Was um, I used my kneaded eraser a lot and it erased the pencil very easily. So I used that to bring back some highlights and all. Uh, so yeah, that was very very nice. I really enjoyed using this, this Uni Nanodia pencil. Now the set that I bought came with an eraser which works very well as well um, except that I have a hard time using it with such a small sketch and I think the erasers at the end of the mechanical pencil is the same type of eraser. The only thing that one might be concerned about and to me it is not a concern at all is the mechanical pencil itself. It's very light, 
kind of feels flimsy, but it really isn't. I don't think it is. Uh, it's very small. The barrel is uh, it's pretty skinny, but I, I, I really enjoyed using it. Uh, even though um, it does feel light or like the plastic might be breakable um, it works just fine for me so it's not a concern for me so I think that the Uni Nano Dia LEDs with the mechanical pencils by Mitsubishi I think they're a great choice and I really like them I love the soft look of my sketch I think it's very pretty and I like that even though the lead is pretty hard uh, once I was done working on the shadows, I was able to add more layers. Um, it's pretty easy to add layers and uh, work on the value. So yeah, I'm very pleased with that. Now for the second set, it's the Pilot Eno uh, mechanical pencils with the refills. I was able to find uh, a set with the refills, which was really nice. And it has the Neox LEDs in it, 
which is supposed to be a bit stronger than the previous version and not break as much. This set has eight colors, so it has an extra yellow, although I'm not sure about sketching with yellow, unless you actually just do a sketch with all different colors, which is fine too. But um, the first thing that I noticed with this set is the mechanical pencils. They feel a lot sturdier and they're really cool. They have a nice soft grip and they feel they're bigger, a little bit heavier in your hand. But regardless, I really like both of them. I don't mind. It doesn't make any difference to me. My very first try putting the lead on the paper, it broke. So, and it happened several times after that. So definitely right there, I can tell that the lead isn't as strong as with the Uni. It also is a bit different. It feels a lot waxier than the Uni, which is not a bad thing. It makes it feel um, actually more buttery, creamier, I guess, and it's really cool. So the difference between the two also is that the Uni Nanodia is a 05 and this one is a 07. The Uni is also available in 07, but the Pilot is not available in 05. And that's why I have the Uni in 05 and the Pilot in 07. That way I have one of each. Uh, the colors are really nice. They're very similar to the Uni and they also work very well on black paper. The tip of the mechanical pencil, the me metallic tip, is retractable. So when you retract the, the lead, then the tip retracts as well. And I must say that this lead also erases very well. Although if you work a lot in a certain area and you apply a lot of colors, it might not erase as well after a while. But still, I think it erases better than the coal erase pencils. And I was also able to use a kneaded eraser to do some erasing with it, which was nice. When I did my swatches of all the colors, uh, this time all the colors are very consistent as far as the texture of the pencil. They're all waxy at about the same level, which is nice because you know what to expect no matter what color you choose for your sketch. So when I started sketching, I noticed right away that I had a slightly rougher look. I was able to use a blending stomp as well with this, but it didn't work as nicely as with the uni leads. I think the difference comes because of the fact that the Eno, uh, the Pilot Eno is waxier and so uh, it's a bit harder to push the pigments around on the paper. And also because the Pilot is a 07 and the Uni is a 05, I was able to obtain uh, better details, uh, finer details with the Uni. The tip of the Uni lead, uh, because it's harder, stays sharper. And the tip of the Pilot is a little bit waxier, it's a, so a softer one, so it doesn't stay as sharp plus it's a little bit bigger. So that's why I was able to create more details with the Uni than with the uh, Pilot. Plus, I was working on a very small uh, format, so that didn't help much. So just like with the Uni, with the Pilot, I was able to uh, create nice values. Once I was done blending and creating my values, um, I was able to add more layers and darken some areas. So with that, I didn't find a big difference. Maybe I was able to create darks a little bit better with the with the pilot because it's it's a uh, creamier. But all in all, I found it very difficult to choose my favorite one. I enjoyed working with both of them and I decided to try different colors.
So the softer blue, the lighter blue was very pretty, but in my opinion, for either brand, uh, they're very similar, those two. Um, I thought it was too light and uh, it just gave such a soft look that it almost disappears. So I didn't like, it's, it's a pretty blue, but I, I, don't, I don't like the result as well as the red. Now one of the differences I forgot to mention is that with the pilot leads, uh, they seem a bit more fragile. When I was using them, they broke several times on me when I was drawing. Uh, it never happened with the uni, so the uni is definitely uh, sturdier, uh, stronger. However, they both broke inside the mechanical pencils and I'm not sure what it's due to. It could have been uh, transportation could have been just the uh, shipping uh, they were knocked around or something I'm not sure why uh, something that I read is that uh, even though you can put more uh, it's not recommended to put more than two refills inside your mechanical pencils because it will tend to break more if you have more leads in there so I'm probably just gonna put one or two at a time and that's it but while actually drawing the uni never broke on me unlike the pilot and you can tell because the lead is harder also and if you want it's kind of a difference between the uni being maybe um, an h pencil and or maybe hb and uh, the pilot being a b pencil that's kind of the difference to me which are both nice uh, it just depends on your preference really I was having so much fun that I decided to try the darker blue color and I really enjoyed that one. I really like uh, all the different values that I was able to create with it. It was really cool. But out of the three colors, I still think that I like that red better because it's really soft and pretty. So anyway, this is my review of the Uni Nano Dia color LEDs and the Pilot Eno color LEDs as well. I really like both. I can't tell you which one to choose because I I enjoyed using both of them and I'm happy I have both. I hope you like the little sketches that I've been making for my 100 heads challenge. They're still taking me about 20 to 30 minutes to make so that's why it's taking me so long to complete this challenge and I don't have much time to do 10 a day. But I'll ha probably have a third and final video to show you all the 100 heads that I've sketched. Thank you all for stopping by. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.